What is going on, everybody? We are back on it. Invincible Season 1 Finale, Episode 8. Hopefully we get most of the questions that we've had answered. I'm not 100% sure, but you guys that, I mean, I'm, I don't know, I'm like a year behind on, you know, when Invincible came out, but there is, to my knowledge, a Season 2? Or there's content for a Season 2? I'm not sure how much of the actual comic there is. So I don't know if this all gets wrapped up here. Um, we got to find out what's up with Nolan. You know, everybody seems to be aware of what he did, except his son. Um, the world saw him kill kill a Guardians of the Globe with his own bare hands. So I feel like, the, you know, the cat's out of the bag. Something is clearly going on. Um, are we going to find out maybe his race or planet, they don't, you know, grow up and then go to other planets to protect them. They grow up and go to other planets to rule them, maybe? Um, still trying to get answers on why he did what he did. He's got to talk to his son. And then, even if, you know, he gives a, a wild answer, I don't think Mark has it in him to... I don't know if he has it within him in here. I just don't think he has the physical skill to be able to put his father down. We've seen him rage out a couple times and get like an, like a little Zenkai boost, but I still don't think it's going to be enough to put his dad down. So where does this kind of get left off here? I don't think either one kills either one in this episode, but we'll see what happens. Invincible, season one finale, pressing play, where I really come from right now. For our people to reach their full potential, oh, it's just a had to remove the weak from our society. It was a long Jesus and Christ, it's a literal just free for all population was cut in half. But what emerged from the ashes was just the elite of the elite. By the time I was born, Viltrum was already the greatest empire in our galaxy. So basically, they had a planet wide to make it the only empire. A planet-wide royal rumble where the half-strongest get to survive. Jesus. Why did he take so long to to weaken Earth? Why didn't he just get rid of the Guardians of the Globe as soon as he got there? Why didn't he just get rid of them? Or he was waiting for his son? Uh, so he waited to make sh to see if his son had it. When he saw that his son did... Then he went ahead and wiped out. But was he supposed to, like... He'll see everybody he loves die. Yeah. But was he supposed to, like, start a family and be a part of society? Because that makes it a lot harder to cut off in here when you've got a wife, a kid, and... And here we go. I don't think Mark stands a chance. He might get a couple good hits in, but, like... He... No. That's not in his bag, man. He's not fast enough. He's not strong enough. So, I need to know where they're going did we get that on camera? Not even on camera. Did we get that on record? So sorry you had to to he it. did. He you did get that on record. Just corny cut. <laughs> I'm so over that shit. You just see it coming a mile away now. But I think I said this, like, in episode one or episode two of, like, when he said, you know, we grow up and we're given a planet, we're given a planet to protect, I was almost under the assumption, no, I think they're given a planet to rule or to conquer, and I didn't know about the whole backstory of basically having a world, a planet-wide royal rumble between the entire society and the half that survive are the elite of the elite, and then they just went conquering planets with their elite of the elite group. But they can only conquer so many planets and have so many people that can oversee that, like he said, they just send one out there at a time to kind of just get the planets ready. But I'm curious what took so long. Like, because it took... A, I don't. Did he show up day one and ha and f marry her and have a kid? Because there might have been some time that it took him to like find a woman, build a relationship, do all that with. 
why didn't he just start getting rid of the world Earth's strongest as soon as he showed up? He didn't have a kid already there. He could have just done it right when he showed up. So I'm curious what the delay was. But damn, he says he sees her like a pet. Nah, Mark, we can't let that shit fly. Didn't think I was gonna make it. <gasps> you almost killed him. Instead, you saved him. Oh. So much effort. Don't, 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 don't. Where was that other one? Oh God! And he goes, "Where was that other one?" Jesus. I'm trying to think who's who would be pretty strong, but just not even able to keep up with like Superman type thing. You know? Oh my god. Jesus Christ. And the whole building's gonna come down. He can't save everybody. I don't even know what to compare it to, like somebody power wise. Like somebody that's really strong that could probably handle most things. She's dead in his arms. Jesus Christ almighty. This is a fucking mess. This is a fucking mess. And the thing is, like, building up to this episode, he was already doubting, like, his powers and being a superhero and wanting to be normal. And now we've got all this going on. His mental is going to be shot. There goes his rage a little bit. He's getting some hits in, but I don't know if... Nolan's actually trying to block or anything. For the first time in your life, I'm telling you the truth. I feel like this would be like Naruto trying to go up against like Goku or some shit. Like Naruto's great and all, like his fully evolved power, like peak peak, but like it's just not close. It's not fair. All those people are gonna die. Bro. So much fucking death. Good God. I don't know if I've ever watched anything with this much death. I don't know if I have. Like, people are just dying. Like, yeah, you watch war things like uh, Game of Thrones and things like that, but like, Jesus. This shit doesn't end. God damn! There's just no competition. I don't think any inner rage Hulk out Super Saiyan moment that Mark might have is going to make a difference. Like, this is what it is. Sometimes you're just hopeless against power and there's nothing you can do. Can we get a bet now over under how many of the new Guardians of the Globe die coming out here? Because if... If Nolan sees them, he's going to kill. They can resist and be completely... Yeah, exist. Resist and be completely wiped out. Or surrender. And made better? What do you mean? Oh, he has to have a kid? He said, what's 17 more years? So he needs the kid. Maybe I missed the part where he was saying... He had to, like, reproduce or something. I don't know. I have to go back and look at that. Because I was asking the questions, like, why the kid, you know? Um. Because there'd be no point to having the kid. Like, just get there and wipe out the planet, you know? But he's saying make another kid. So how do... how What do we go on from here? What do we do? He's not going to kill him. So what... what but, the, but the world knows what he is. Well, I'm glad to see there wasn't some talk no jutsu, power of friendship, I gotta protect mom boost that made him defeat his dad or something like that. Like, it wasn't close. And it was never going to be close. And it's not close. Um, so, we, I mean, we still got a good, we got half the episode left. I'm curious, like, so the Earth in the world knows what's up. Um, As darkness falls on the day, the world what does Earth do? They can't stop him from showing back up. Are they really trying to figure out ways to, <laughs> to kill him or anything? Oh, I guess we're putting him back together. 
That works. <laughs> uh? She's not gonna kill herself, right? Okay. I was about to say, please don't tell me she killed herself. Cause that would have been a mess. Uh, wait a minute, girl. You broke up with me. You didn't want me, remember? She's for the streets. It's making it seem like... I don't know if the other Viltramites do this, and I don't know if I missed it somewhere along the hour of the episode. But it didn't seem like starting a family or raising offspring was a part of their... takeover or anything like that, you know? So maybe that's what makes... Mark's, that's what makes Nolan's situation interesting, because he has actual attachments. It seems like the others just go there and handle business, but he stayed around, so... Ah, alright, looks like they're still trying. They gotta have something. It's not gonna be en enough, but they gotta have something. There's got to be an end credit, right? Right? Anything? Anything? No. All right, so we're going to leave it just at that. I want to go back to... If I can even find it. To where he was talking about, you know. They were choosing the strongest to go out and take over planets where he said he was one of the strongest of his group oh right here right here right here okay let me see if we can get it go back a little bit more back a little bit more okay so they decided to make their own galaxy join the war effort species that resisted okay Imagine if you're, you didn't eliminate half your population, your forces wouldn't be stretched so thin. Okay, our most trusted officers were each given a planet to weaken by themselves. Okay, so just slowly start whittling it down, whittling it down, whittling it down, and then they'll send like an actual force to come, you know, fully take over, implement, and do the rest? Okay, and that was it. So I didn't miss it. I'm pretty sure that was it. There was no talks of, like, it was just our strongest were given a planet of their own to weaken. There was no, like, you need to make friends with the costume maker. You need to find love, bear children, or anything like that. But then, we come back here to the end where he's beaten ass, and he's like, uh... He's like, I'll just do another 18 years or some shit. And he's like, I'll still have you, Dad, and blah, blah, blah. But he's he makes a comment that, like, I'll just wait another 18 years. Like, start, but, like, why... Why does he feel like he needs to wait? Like, I, I don't know. I don't know. The whole, like, children. And that's what I'm saying. Maybe we had the alien from the coalition come in and, like, he's like, you know, Viltramites never abandon their posts and never do something wrong. But I have a feeling other Viltramites weren't out there having families and friends. So I feel like that's probably what's making our situation different here. I love how just, like, raw and uncut it was and how he just kills and kills and kills. Like I said, I've never seen that mass scale of killing in anything I watch. Like, you'll watch Star Wars or so, or Dragon Ball or something like that where they have, like, a huge blast, like, just completely blow up a planet in the blink of an eye type stuff. But you know, you don't see it. You're just told, like, wow, that entire planet, that entire population was blown out like that. But you're so used to seeing that in different type of movies where planets are taken over and destroyed that, like, when you see a planet just fully crumble, like, you don't really see the devastation of it. Here, though, you're just going, like, body by body and blood and body. It's like, holy shit, like, this shit just never ends. Um, 
everybody just kind of going back to normal. We caught up with almost every single character, every single side villain um, that we had in over across the eight episodes. Cecil looks like he's trying to prepare and get ready, but clearly, like, they just can't keep up. Like, it, it, even if they come back with, like, just, first of all, just Nolan shows back up. He might be able to completely just wipe what he was, like, doing. Like, just continue with it. But imagine, like, a little sub, like, squad. Like, three or four of them show up. Like, you're just fucked. <laughs> so, um, the Coalition guy was saying they're trying to put things together to stop this Viltrumite takeover. I'm curious if Nolan will switch along the way somewhere and choose to fight against the Viltrumite because he realizes, you know, it's wrong. I have something I care about and I love. And we'll kind of see how it goes from there. I appreciate it, everybody. Done with Invincible. We're going to start the uh, Berserk manga soon. Get that going and we'll just have some stuff for the future. Like, share, favorite, subscribe as always.